Hey everybody, thank you so much for hopping on. If you are here live, thank you so much for spending part of your Sunday with us. And if you are watching the rewatch, I am so proud of you. Thank you for staying connected with your team. Let me take a drink of water, hold on. I should have done that before I pressed record, but <laughs> um, okay. So uh, everything was going really smooth for me up until about 20 minutes ago, and then it wasn't. <laughs> so. Um, I am here and we're just going to muscle through this. Um, first, we're going to jump into our product spotlight and I'm so excited that Mitzi is doing our product spotlight and she's doing it on collagen. So I'm going to hand it over to her and let her run with it. This is such an awesome product, so I can't wait to hear more. All right, Mitzi, it's all you. <clears throat> okay. All right. <laughs> Let me get my notes really quick, okay? So Okay, I just had to grab my notes. They disappeared on me for a minute. All right, so here we go. So this is going to be talking about collagen. We have a new product that is, well, I'd say still fairly new because it's only been released maybe for the past couple of months or so. And we are very, very excited to share more information about this particular product. So you can sip your way to youth with this product and it will cause you to have a glowing skin and it is a multi-action complex product with collagen and this is a powerful multi-action formula and it will create a unique beautiful match with the bio viable type one and type three for the collagen and it does have a crema protein as well as an antioxidant it is rich with superfood ingredients within the same formula it has a combination of a variety of different things that works to take care of the different issues you may be having that show within your skin, whether it be the different aging factors that may be visible. And there are three particular key approaches to fixing that for customers who use this. It is an advanced formula that really supports your skin's strengthening with the collagen and it will support your body's own ability to actually make its own collagen through its natural processes. <clears throat> One more moment for me. It will also help to reduce the collagen breakdown within your skin. And again, it causes that natural glow and radiant beauty, and it's a holistic, Skin care approach product that will reduce fine lines and wrinkles within your skin. It will also help to increase your skin's elasticity. It will improve the skin's hydration and it will help cultivate more confidence within you. It is a filter free flawless skin product. Now I'm going to give you several of the benefits that come from using this particular collagen product.
With long-term use of this particular product, it will help to improve the overall appearance of your skin. It will also help to strengthen your skin and create a barrier to different environmental triggers. It will help protect your skin structure and the protein within your skin cells. The collagen peptides will help to trigger or activate the natural collagen process, the synthesis process. It will also help to reduce, again, that collagen breakdown that I mentioned earlier. It also helps to reduce and eliminate crow's feet around the eyes, as well as other fine lines and wrinkles. It just improves your skin's overall appearance and minimize the signs of aging. It is naturally derived and the creamides within it do help to hydrate and plump the skin. It also helps to support healthy hair, skin, and nails. It will help to improve your skin's texture, as well as reduce the roughness skin can be prone to. It also helps to replenish your skin's natural antioxidants. Now, this product does not, um, it is a non-GMO product, and it is gluten-free as well. You will be able to see awesome results from using this particular product within 15 days of use. Some people have even noticed it sooner than that 15 day mark, but it is amazing nonetheless. I have seen quite a few awesome results personally, and I've had other people share their stories and show their before and after pictures as well. You can see a major difference when you compare those before and afters. It's truly amazing what your skin does as it strengthens and goes through its process from using this project. It's like you're almost aging backwards rather than becoming older. You definitely become more youthful in appearance. Your body is healthier. Your skin just looks cleaner. Your skin tone is more even and balanced. And you definitely have a reduction in the amount of lines and fine lines on your face. It is truly an amazing product that I very much like. Another thing that I have noticed, more, uh, more and more people who exercise, they tend to lose some of their skin's elasticity. It becomes, um, their skin becomes tighter, much tighter from doing that. So this is amazing because this product really supports skin's overall appearance. One individual who herself had actually birthed seven children and in her abdominal area, it really was not um, as she really wanted it to be. So she actually created a drink from uh, the collagen and drank that and then made a lotion out of it as well and put that on her stomach area. And within seven days, she noticed a significant difference. She had significantly less sagging skin in the area of her stomach and it looked amazing. So that was one particular example. I am just truly thrilled about this particular product. It is definitely a helpful product to have around for our health. And if you think about the fact that our bodies are really 70 to 80% collagen, we definitely need to have this collagen boost within us. We start to lose collagen 
cells by the time we are around 20, 21 years of age is when that process begins to break down and we lose them uh, on a pretty significant rate on a daily basis. So that's what I have for you now on this. If anyone has any questions, please let me know or let Iris know. Go for it, Ember. You got a question? I do. Is it helpful for joints? Yes, I was going to touch on that. Or Mitzi, did you have anything on that? On the collagen being helpful for joints? That's what Ember asked. Ooh, well, I would think so. Now, I believe it helps specifically with cartilage. It does help to rebuild cartilage. So I would, I would feel comfortable saying yes, but to know the exact statistical percentage that it would impact uh, cartilage, I am unsure. I am happy to research and find more specific information regarding that. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I noticed this go around this pregnancy. Um, I stayed up on my collagen for the most part and my ease, but this pregnancy seemed easier on my joints than my last one. So I think, and the collagen would be the only thing, yeah, the collagen would be the only thing I, I have changed since it's a new product um, now for this pregnancy. So I noticed a difference, um, and that's the only thing I can think to attribute it to, is the less the less pain and less also less issues with my um, varicose veins. So I think it does. I think it does help with joints, and I believe um, I believe I've heard several other testimonies too about people finding relief from um, joint discomfort and issues um, with the collagen. Yeah, because I am on my third bottle. Uh huh. And so I was thinking it's in my head, right? Because I don't really, I mean, what's here is what's here. Uh -huh. I'm really sorry, you get what you get. But my joints, you know, that's kind of like, that's kind of a big issue. I don't want to have to get like knee replacements or anything. And not that I had issues with my knees, but I could tell, you know, I was getting old and they feel fine. Like, nice. I don't like think about them anymore like I used to. That is awesome. How cool. Ah, I love it. Yep, the collagen is awesome. I also love how creamy it is. I love it in my tea. I love it in my Slim. Um, it makes my tea so creamy. It's yummy. I drink it in the morning or I'll drink it at night. I've done both. Um, and I like it both ways. So I, it's a really versatile product. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So, um, and I love the fact, I, I'm really hoping they come out with the option of having it in the tubes, in the, in the packets like the Slim. My mom has, my mom just became a flight attendant and she wants to be able to take it on the go. And so the big tub doesn't work really well. And she was like, tell them to come out with the Slim thing. I was like, well, you can get it in a three day. <laughs> but anyway, so thank you, Mitzi. I appreciate you doing our spotlight on that. The collagen is awesome for sure. So let's go ahead and dive in real quick. And just talk, I just kind of wanted to give some opportunity to um, talk about what's been going on. And if you guys got your email, um, you'll see the message from Tarl and Alec, um, just kind of addressing what they're doing in light of uh, the COVID-19, um, the coronavirus. And um, so I just kind of wanted to see if there was any questions or concerns out there. They... And, and just kind of talk about it for a couple minutes. Um, I don't want to drag on and on about it, but I just want to touch on it for like, you know, five minutes and just um, answer any questions that you guys might have. And I have no idea if I'll even have the answers, but in the email, um, they, they did postpone all in-person events through April 30th. Um, they've enhanced the sanitation measures for employees handling product in the manu manufacturing and distribution centers. They're all being implemented, and um, they're as they're limiting, uh, or as well as limited and monitored access. So, only people who need to go in there are going in there. 
um, their assurance that ordering, enrollment, shipping, and commission systems are backed up for uninterrupted services, um, and convention, which is in June, is still on track to happen. So, and we have a place to stay. <laughs> so I've been in touch with our Airbnb. Um, and as you guys know, their, um, their property was a block away from the tornado. So it, it is still standing and it is still good. Um, we're just, I think things have really slowed down in Tennessee. So we're still just waiting on the final uh, paperwork. Um, but she says that it's, that it's ours. So, um, so anyway, they are taking all the sanitary, necessary sanitary steps for keeping things clean and keeping people, um, only people who need to go in are going in. They're not even, they're not even doing um, tours at Arizona, at the main corporate. They've shut down all kinds of um, just access and just trying to keep things clean for at least the next, um, I guess, month and a half, I guess through April 30th. So, um, does anybody have any concerns? Like I know my mom had asked, you know, are we going to still be able to order? Are we still going to, and absolutely we're still able to order. Everything's still up and running. Um, as far as I know, we haven't had any shortages or anything like that. So you can order as normal or, um, you know, stock up a little bit if you want to, I would recommend not going crazy so that people who need it can get it when they need it. But, um, so there's that, but does anybody have any questions or concerns about everything going on as far as Plexus is concerned? Let me load it up. Okay. All right. Um, so you can reassure. Oh, go ahead, Ember. I always have questions. <laughs> Good. I don't have any concerns, but I'm just not very confident in being able to answer. Like if someone asks, like, where does the product come from? Does it come from China? No. Or like what measures are being taken to so, make sure that... Good question. Yeah. Uh, so all of our product, this is in, hold on, let me pull it up really quick. This is in our virtual office. All of our product is manufactured in the U.S. Um, let me see here. Right, and that I understand, but the raw product, does any of that come from China? The raw product? No, not, I believe everything is in the United States. So we don't buy any ingredients from out of the country? The only ones we do is New Zealand. New Zealand green lip mussel. What about um, like monk fruit? Is that in the U.S. too? I believe so. Let me look up. And that would be, I mean, that would be a great question to get that specific with like the monk fruit. I would get, I would ask customer service. I would send an email and ask customer service. They will send you at all that information. I've asked them questions like along that line, along those lines of ingredients and where things are manufactured. Um, but as far as I know, everything except the New Zealand green lipped mussels are manufactured in the US. Um, but definitely, and, and if you've got questions like that, send an email to customer service and they're awesome with their responses. So if you have somebody that comes up and they're like, you know, where are you getting your monk fruit? Where are you getting um, all of that? Say, oh, you know, let me find out for you. Let me double check on that. So, um, and I will, I'll shoot this up to, um, to the Ruby chat too and see if, um, and just kind of make some confirmations there too. Let me make myself a note. But excellent question, Ember. All right, anybody else? And I believe you can go into... Hi, I was wondering, um, this is Lynn, I have a question. Yes. So my question is, I was wondering, and you know, I've been noticed noticing with the collagen, it helps the bone become stronger. And I feel, you know, my bones are getting stronger. And I'm curious, you know, is that related to the collagen? Is that is that true? Collagen and bone getting stronger. I would think that it benefits the bones, absolutely. Um, 
as far as saying exactly if that's exactly what's helping your bones, I don't know, but I would say it's probably benefiting your bones. So you're noticing you're noticing a difference? Where'd she go? Yes, I do oh. notice a different uh, a difference. Yes, I do notice a big difference. Nice. Thanks. Well, that's awesome. That's encouraging. Oh, yes, yes, it is. Okay. Um, sorry, I was just trying to find the product attribute sheet. All right, yeah, I will I will double check on manufacturing and where it's manufactured. But um, as far as I know, everything is manufactured in the U.S. except for the New Zealand green lived mussels. But there might be a couple of the fruits that we get out of state. But I don't think we get anything from China. Anyway, all right. I won't get off on that rabbit trail in my brain. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and move on and we will talk about... I wanted to talk about expanding our network. This week, so a lot of you know, um, several of us are in the uh, Road to Hawaii Challenge, and it's an eight-week challenge, and we're right smack dab in the middle. We just finished week four. And this week, um, it was so funny. It finally hit me. <laughs> it finally hit me because um, I, was, I was kind of following a, a couple of different systems, um, I was kind of following up with people that I had messaged in my messenger, and I was also following Doe and um, using Doe to be the people that I contact. And then I started realizing I friend people every single day. I friend, um, I so I'm in a couple of different groups, and from those groups, um, I had I had started. So I had started in these groups, and from those groups, I had started making friends. And then once you add to your friend list, then their friends become suggestions for you. And if you see it in your Facebook, um, it, the suggestions pop up right, usually right in the middle. If you're scrolling down, you'll get these people you may know. So people you may know. And you'll see, I have, so this gal, I have 88 mutual friends. I have 133 mutual friends. And that's all from having been involved in a group I started making friends and friending people, and then their friends become suggestions, and then their friends become suggestions, and so your network can go boom, really, really, really fast. So every day I go through the people you may know, and if I have over 100 mutual friends, I friend them, no matter what. If I have over 100, I friend them. So I at least friend three to five people every day. And then I started realizing, um, I need to introduce myself, simply introduce myself, nothing else, just say, hey, this is me, who are you, kind of a thing. Uh, so I started doing that this week. Everyone who accepted my friend request, I simply sent them a, hey, um, thanks for accepting my friend request. I thought I'd pop in here really quick and introduce myself. My name's Iris. I'm a homeschool mom of six. I just had baby number six end of February. Um, you know, we live in Alaska. I love the mountains and hot tea. And it looks like we're part of the same group. And so I touch base. You know, that's kind of a, a pain point is what they call it. It's just where we connect. And um, I said, it looks like we have, you know, this in common. And, um, but I'd love to know more about you. What do you do? Um, or, you know, what, whatever. So I just touch on that. Um, and I have gotten the best responses. And I'm talking like, like responses like this long in my messenger. So people just talking and chit chatting and everything. And so once I contact them and I put them, then I, then I physically put them in dough in my reminder list. So it doesn't have to be dough. You guys don't have to use dough, but just put them in your reminder list. And I remind myself to follow up with them and to continue the conversation. And then my goal is, um, in some, some of the other training that I've had several months ago, last year, um, the three to five, the three to five message mark, Yeah. So the three to five mark, um, I, I uh, will approach them about Plexus. So I'm looking for opportunities to share. 
um, whether that be in our conversation, something pops up with their health, or I see them post something on Facebook, or I just go ahead and say, hey, I know this is kind of out in the out of the blue. Do you use supplements? Um, would you be curious about gut health stuff? Um, so anyway, this has been so cool though, just immediately, not just letting them add up in my friends list and, and let Doe cycle through them. I'm immediately, once they accept my friend, my friend request, I'm immediately introducing myself at the very least. And I'm getting great conversations. Um, I've got conversations with people in Canada and I've got conversations with people in Europe. Um, hopefully Plexus goes to Europe soon. <laughs> and, you know, I've got conversations going and um, it's expanding my network. And so, and having these conversations means that these people are going to see my posts and my stories more. In fact, it was really funny as I sent this message out, I watched them because I'm on, you know, I'm sitting there on my computer and I'm on Facebook. So I start, I send this message to them and all of a sudden I get, uh, so-and-so liked your picture. So-and-so saw your story. So-and-so. So they're going, oh, okay. So she's introduced herself. And so who is she? And so they're going to my page and seeing what I'm posting. And this does a couple of different things. It shows them that I'm a real person because y'all know I'm real on Facebook. And then it gives them, um, it, um, not influence, exposure. It gives them exposure to what I'm talking about and uh, to Plexus. So it's very, very genuine that way. Um, I've met a lot of other network marketers as well, and I just stay totally positive when I'm talking to other network marketers, and I just talk about my love for network marketing. Um, so I've got people that you know do hemp works and people that do uh, doTERRA oils and all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, oh, I'm so glad you have found something you love and that you're passionate about. And um, I found somebody who tried Plexus and hated it, and she does, you know, Amway now. <laughs> so it's just, you know, but she was totally sweet about it and nice about it and all that. So just expanding our network and loving people, this is how it's done. You guys, friend request people. So choose a group that you can get involved in. I don't, whatever it might be. Um, so I, I, you know, harped on this a lot over the past year. Um, a running group or a knitting group or a hiking group or whatever it is that you're interested in, go find one on Facebook and start friend requesting people. If they think it's weird, so what? Um, don't be there. Don't, they won't uh, accept your friend request, but those that, and send as soon as they accept it, send them a message and just introduce yourself. And I always say, I love making new connections. And it has really been cool because I'm not, I'm making new connections all over the place. This one lady, she made elderberry syrup and she made it this special way. Um, and she makes it by the cup instead of by the, the, the pot. She makes it just a cup of it. And I'm like, how did you do that? And where do you get your elderberries? And she's like, oh, do you live in Oregon? And I'm like, no, I'm in Alaska. And so, you know, that conversation gets going and we're talking about elderberries and talking about health. And, um, so, and this does not have to take long, you know, spend 20 minutes. And if you can't respond to them, like I have like five messages in my messenger box right now that I haven't responded from, from last night. Now my goal is 24 hours. I try to respond to people within 24 hours, but life is life. So don't get hung up on the fact of, I don't want to start all these conversations. I'm never going to be able to talk to these people. You totally can nooks and crannies of life. People know you're on Facebook. It's not a phone call. You're not on the phone call and ignoring them on the phone. You're leaving messages. That's what it's all about. You're leaving a message and you're going to answer when you can. So keep that in mind too. Um, but this has been, this has been really cool uh, is, and expanding my network substantially. The big part is the scary part is, is the introduction of looking for ways to mention Plexus. And remember, this could be life changing for them. Always think of the positive. Do not think of what they could say negatively. Let that just like, literally, I will do this literally. I will take it out of my brain and throw it. And I will do this literally. Nope, I'm so not thinking about the negative. I'm going to think about, and I'll literally grab it out of my brain and throw it away and make this motion with my hand. So, um, so that I'm not thinking about the negative. Because then I start thinking about the, what about Ame Darling? who was this natural path, holistic, crazy woman um, who did all the things. And the person who shared with her was shut down for six months. It was um, Helen McFadden. 
shut down for six months, but she didn't, she kept following up. She kept like dripping on her. How are you doing? Did you try the slim drink yet? What do you think? No, 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 no. And then all of a sudden, Ame Darling just took off with it. And then um, what's the other one? Oh, Ricky James. Ricky James is like a, a natural path genius. And look who shared with her. So you could start thinking, well, she's a natural path. She is totally not going to want to. What if she asks all these different questions? There are tons of natural paths in, in Plexus, y'all. Think about the positive. What if this is the next Ricky James? What if this is the next Helen McFadden or Ame Darling? Or So think about that. And if, if you're really stuck and you're getting that chicken list, go watch a Diamond Doc. Go get your brain in the right spot. And look at these miracle people that have just had amazing things happen and their lives change. So hang on to that. Um, when you're talking to these people and you're like, oh my goodness, she's like a, a naturopathic nurse. How am I going to ever convince her? You're not. You're just going to share. And if it happens, it happens. And that's awesome. So really just want to encourage you. And then also if you are, um, Ember, did you have something? Did you raise your hand? Okay, go ahead. So two things I wanted to go back to what you're talking about adding people. I made the mistake. I learned my lesson not to message them before they friend yes. you. Yes. Facebook will put you in like the wormhole that you never get out of. Yes. I've had people, even for me, like people trying to friend me, they'll say, I sent you a message and I go and look for it and I can't even find it. Right. So Wait, you have to be patient. Wait until they friend you, then message them. Yes. And then also, so I was doing the same thing you were doing for a while, like suggestions. So I'd like, oh, I know. And then they friend you, and then you say, hey, you know, blah, 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 too. How do you know them? So that was a great way to get conversation going. But yes. then I don't even have to do that anymore because I have so many people friend requesting me now. Yes. I have a lot of people I will not accept. Yep. But now, <laughs> I don't have to go looking for people every day. I only, I don't go through and friend them all because then I'll lose somebody. So I'll friend somebody. And then immediately I go and say, Hey, thanks for the friend request yes. and leave it at that. And then yes. they get back to me and can just keep going. And then it's like, I'm not hounding them, you know? Right. So that was it. Yes. No. Ah, I love it. It's exactly it. So don't, don't get stuck on, I don't have a network or I don't have friends. Like there's totally a way to do it. You just got to hit that button, hit that button and then totally do what Ember just did. Just, just say, Hey, thanks for accepting my friend request or thanks for friend requesting me and leave it at that and watch, watch the conversation naturally flow. And remember, as you're doing this, that is the first seed planted. You have done the drop the seed in the dirt. That's where you're at. And then you're going to start covering it up and then you're going to start watering it. And then you're going to start making sure it has sunshine. Like this is what we do guys. We build these relationships and then we will reap the harvest. This isn't, you're not going to friend request somebody and they're going to order in two days. Um, just keep that in your mind as you are building these, these friendships. And it's so fun. Um, and you really get to know some really cool people on social media. So, um, so yeah, so keep all that in mind. Ah, love it. Um, and then I'm just also want to encourage you. This is something I'm going to do more of, um, for the rest of March. I'm making this a goal for myself is getting back to Instagram and just dabbling in Instagram. I love Facebook. I can jive on Facebook. Um, I do want to dabble in Instagram. I'm not going to be consumed there. Um, but what I do want to continue to do is post, build up my followers and follow others. But then I go and find, try to find the people I find on Instagram on Facebook. And so you can, you know, see some people that are really popular. Maybe they have a lot of followers. Maybe they're really amazing. There's this one gal, she's pregnant with baby number nine, and she has the cutest pictures of all of her kids. And I'm like, I don't even know where she finds that space in her house to take such cute pictures because she lines them all up. I don't even have an empty wall that, that big to line my kids up. And, um, but she lines them all up and she'll take pictures and everything. She has like 40,000 followers. I want to find her on Facebook. So I follow her, but I want to find her on Facebook and see what she's up to on Facebook and see if I can get her there. So remember Instagram, if you're not an Instagram buff, 
And if you want to become one, awesome. Totally do that. But if you're not an Instagram buff, dabble in it and find those people on Facebook if that's where you jive. Um, don't let anybody tell you that Facebook is going by the wayside and Instagram is where it's at or whatever. I'm sorry. There are hundreds of millions of people on Facebook. It's not going nowhere. So don't, don't lose heart with that. Um, but I, that's another way, another way to expand our network, dabble in Instagram and find these people on Facebook if that's where you're more comfortable. Um, and just, and exactly what you post on Facebook, you can post on Instagram and slowly build up your following there. So, um, that is what I wanted to touch on. I also wanted to mention a couple of things, um, from, let me pull up my notes from, um, we had a, every Friday we have, um, just kind of a recap for our road to Hawaii. And it was really, really cool. I love what Brenda had to say. Brenda said, um, she loves, she loves the road to Hawaii. She loves what it does because we're, they randomly put us in pods. Like Ember and I happen to be together, but Tony and Mitzi, they're in totally different pods than the two of us. So they randomly put people in the pods and, um, it is a lot of people that are not, you know, not on my team or, you know, not on our team. And so there's just this camaraderie ship. There's this one plexus mindset in there and it is awesome. And one thing that Brenda said is she's like, that was really huge for her because she started realizing that she does not have everything she needs to offer my team. She's like, I don't have everything to offer my team. I need other people and they can bring in areas that I completely miss. And I'm like, that is so true. And I love the fact that we all like Ember's pulling in information from other people and Mitzi's Mitzi follows amazing uh, diamonds and she pulls in. I mean, I steal stuff from Mitzi's stories all the time because Mitzi finds some awesome stuff in stories. And I'm like, great stuff, Mitzi. And I'm like stealing it <laughs> and I'll post it on mine. So we're all this one plexus mindset. We pull information from other things and other places and we build each other up one plexus across because I can't bring everything to the table. Y'all can't bring everything, everything to the table for your people. And that's why we have each other. So I love that. And then she said this about duplication. This is how we help people duplicate. She said, we do it. Okay. We do the things, right? We show you how we show the new person, how then we do it with you. And then you do it. So we do it. We show you how to do it. We do it with you and then you do it. So that's the process of helping people um, duplicate. But the one thing is, is we have to be doing it. Like I have to be doing the things in order to show you how to do the things. And then I'm going to do the things with you to help you build that confidence. And then you're going to go on and do it. Um, so that's duplication. That's what that looks like. So I love that little tidbit. And then last thing, and I will be quiet. Um, uh, her name, I think her name was Hannah Ruth. It's Ruth. I think it's Ruth. She shared how to really dig into your why. And she's like, look, if you don't have a solid why, then when this gets hard, you're not going to continue. And she said th this was shared with her. So again, she is sharing information that's been shared with her. None of us know it all. She said, okay, ask yourself, what is your goal? Write that down. And then say, why is that important? And write that down. And then say, why is that important? And write it down. Then say, why is that important? And she said, do this five times. Why is that important? Why is that important? Why is that important? And you will dig down. And she's like, oftentimes you will dig down to a person, um, something you're really wanting to achieve, maybe go someplace, but you will boil it down to the heart of why you're wanting to do this. So I really encourage you this evening, maybe right before you go to bed, write down your goal and then why is that important five times and answer those questions each time and go really deep with your why. And then make that deep part a visual for yourself and take that visual and look at it every single day. This, my why has changed from five years ago. My why has changed and because you change and we change and and so your why is going to change, revisit it a lot, and this is what's going to get you through those really hard times. Um, so take this, make a visual, and remember your why. So um, 
there's also a video I am going to share as soon as I find it. Uh, Brenda was going to post it in Team Fire, but it's it's a video that somebody did about the whole earn your perks back. Um, you can earn your perks rewards. So if you've canceled your subscription or you didn't reach the 100 PV mark, um, you can earn, you can get those back by simply placing a 100 PV order before the 20th. So, um, but somebody did a video explaining it really well and Brenda said she was going to post it. So I'm going to go look for that and I'll post it in renewed, um, because that was a little confusing for me. And I was like, yay, somebody did a video on it. So we will, I'll, I'll find that and post it. I'll just make myself a quick note. Um, okay. That is all I had. Does anybody have any questions before we wrap this up? Do I need, okay. Okay. Let me know if I'm missing you because I'm looking down. About perks. Okay. Post in renewed. Um, okay. Then we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. This has been wonderful. Um, and if you can stay on for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll do a quick um, weekly check-in. And I didn't even check. I know I posted it. I was so proud. I actually followed my reminder and I posted it on time. <laughs> So um, we'll do our weekly check-in. But thank you guys so much for hopping on here and listening to me ramble. And thank you, Mitzi, for doing our product spotlight. And uh, I will see you guys next week for sure. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Monday tomorrow. Bye.